We've been asked a couple times on how the breeding plans work, so I thought I'd do a quick little video here. First, I just want to remind everybody that you can change your layout settings and change colors to a dark mode, or you can change multiple other colors at any time. I just prefer the dark mode, easier on the eyes for me, so here we go. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go to the breeding plan. We'll go to the list. We, there's nothing in our list of breeding plans. I cleared ours out, so I'll go ahead and start a new breeding plan. So we'll add a breeding plan. We're going to select the season. We're going to go 2022. Animal type, let's do ball pythons. Description would be uh, ball python breeding plan, or whatever you'd like to call it. And we will make this one active. Okay, so there we go. We've got our first breeding plan. You could do multiple breeding plans. Uh, you could even do, uh, if you're doing some special project and things like that, you could set up uh, different breeding plans. So let's go ahead and view this one. And there we go. There's nothing at all in our breeding plan yet. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to select a male. So everything is based off your male. So we will go ahead and do a search. Let's take a that one there. So that would be a, a lavender, uh, orange dream lavender het pied male. Uh, and we've added him to the breeding plan. So now what we'll do is we will go ahead and add females to the breeding plan. So we will go breeding plan, and we're going to take a look and what would make sense here. Let's go down to uh, lav, het, pied, possible owner's dream. Good combination. There we go. Now, we're going to select on when the activities for this breeding plan start. And the reason we do that is because you may have had the animal on a previous breeding plan. We don't want to continue to add to a previous breeding plan, um, you know, activities like copulations and and uh, pairings and things like that we want this breeding plan to gather data everywhere from whatever date this is forward until we add it to a new breeding plan so we'll go ahead and do it from today save that change and there we go so that animal is now added so we've got this male and this is one of the females we can go ahead and add additional females to this male and there we go we're going to do the same thing for there okay so we've just got weights in here now so far we've got our breeding plan here's our male and our female uh, sorry here's the male and here are the two females that this male will go to this year so now everything that happens in this plan now is kind of dependent on your activities so however you record your activities whether you're scanning qr codes whether you're doing it from the animal list whether you're doing it from this post activity um, lightning bolt icon whatever way you do it activities that pertain to breeding will show up here so let's say uh, we put these two together so we're gonna post an activity for this animal and we're gonna do a pairing there we go and we're gonna do the pairing today and it automatically defaults to the male that is in the breeding plan for this year so we're going to go ahead and hit submit on that. So now if we go back to the breeding plan, we will now see that a pairing has shown up and there's the date on that pairing. And then if we have a uh, copulation, we'll go ahead and I don't have, oh, there we go, copulation. And we'll submit that. And you'll see that that also will show up on the breeding plan. So eventually throughout, you'll see pairings, copulations, pairing copulations. You can also do a follicle uh no this is bp0010 so let's just make sure we get the animal right so let's go bp-0010 okay so we don't have any follicles listed for that animal yet so we're going to go back to we're going to find that animal in the list and we're going to go bp-0010 and we're going to do a recording of the follicle size on this so follicle development and follicle size let's say we're at 15. okay so we can now go back to the breeding plan we can take a look at the breeding plan and you'll see now that we have a follicle size recording also there okay so we'll continue to do this throughout the year we'll do or throughout the season we'll add the weights we'll add the follicle sizes we'll do pairings copulations and things like that and then eventually you'll get an ovulation um, you can record that I don't have ovulation set up in here but we'll do a reproduction now so now that the animal has dropped eggs or if it's a live bear it will be live uh, we will do clutch number 2022-11 and that's total number of eggs let's say there were eight viable eggs there were seven or sorry uh, number of viable eggs seven 
non-viable one estimated clutch hatch you know 55 days from today so let's go uh that's a guess there we go uh female weight after it laid eggs would have been 1200 grams total egg weight uh eight eggs so let's say it was uh 420 grams and then any notes you want to add to that so we'll go ahead and hit submit on that so now we know that the animal has laid um, kind of after you have an ovulation you actually don't really have to do any more recordings until you've got um, until you've got your reproduction so we've got a reproduction there now if we go take a look at the incubation we'll find that animal in the incubation um, and here it is here 22 11 okay and then You've got these eggs, okay, and we'll go ahead and convert that to animals. And how many of those eggs hatched? We'll hit seven. And if you'll see, we can add all these neonates now. So we can add an animal ID. Any of this information that you fill out in the first neonate automatically gets populated into the additional one. So if you've gone, you know, we've already populated, so we'll populate, so let's go lavender albino. Okay, so now if we take a look at these other ones, they've defaulted that. Okay, so basically you want to set up your most complex one as animal one and then start removing things. Once you hit submit, it will then create all these animals in the system for you to start recording activities on those animals. So that's a quick look at the breeding plan. Um, actually, one more thing when you go, you, when you're done with this breeding plan, you can then uh, archive the breeding plan make it inactive, but then you could go back and refer to it any time to see what happened. And we'll go there and we can add another male at any time also. So you've got multiple males down here. You can put the female into multiple males um, and do the recordings for those, okay? Uh, one other thing, when you're doing the incubation, which I skipped, um, once this clutch is set up, you can actually print a clutch card okay that has all this whatever information you want okay i'll go ahead and hit print and that's what mine will look like okay and you stick that right onto um the egg box okay i hope that helps with the whole breeding plan